Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Philip Kaufman, filling in for Julia Wiegand. Congressman Matt Cartwright held a press conference today to discuss recent issues with the U.S. Postal Service and called for leadership changes. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these couriers from their swift completion of their appointed rounds, a motto we've all heard to describe our postal workers' dedication. Unfortunately, in northeastern PA, more and more citizens have been reporting issues. U.S. Congressman Matt Cartwright spoke today on that issue. Now my staff and I have been fielding calls from constituents in all five of the 8th Congressional District's counties uh, with frustrations about their mail service, and it's been longer than that, but it seems to have been mounting. I had relayed these concerns to the U.S. Postal Service leadership, who told me that the delays were caused by COVID-related staffing shortages and the crush of election and holiday mail, but we're six weeks past that now, and things are getting worse, not better. Over the past 72 hours since the Cartwright office sent out an email to constituents asking how the local post office was doing, more than 7,000 responded with 94% pointing out that they were experiencing delays in receiving their mail, and 80% reported not receiving or misdelivered mail. We can trace these complaints all the way back to last summer, and by now it's clear that uh, nothing is going to change unless we make some changes at the top of post office leadership. So as a result of all of this, I am calling on President Biden to nominate qualified leaders to fill three vacancies on the United States Postal Service Board of Governors. Leaders who will take seriously their responsibility to ensure postal service deliveries for Americans happen efficiently and on time. By calling on President Biden to appoint new leadership, Congressman Cartwright is hoping to allow qualified officials to recover the USPS from now reversed decisions made last summer. Last summer, the United States Postal Service Board of Governors oversaw Postmaster General's, the Postmaster General's efforts to dismantle mail sorting machines, cut overtime, restrict deliveries, and remove blue mailboxes, all in the name of operational efficiency. That is not how the folks in northeastern Pennsylvania saw it, though. What they experienced was delayed, missing, and misdelivered mail. Congressman Cartwright also wanted to emphasize his support for the employees of USPS and their dedication. Our mail carriers and our mail sorters and handlers, so many of us know that our neighborhood mailmen, mailwomen, we know them by name, we see how hard they work, we know how hard the people doing the sorting and the processing in the mail work, how seriously they take their jobs. So I want to thank all of them for their dedication. I'm fighting not only because the American people deserve better from the United States Postal Service, but the workers there do too. A man from Texas has been captured by authorities in Connecticut in connection to a death, shooting death of a woman in Pennsylvania. 28-year-old Tracy Ray Rollins was taken into custody in Milldale, Connecticut yesterday after a warrant was issued out for his arrest. Rollins allegedly shot and killed 47-year-old Rebecca Landreth of Virginia along an off-ramp near Interstate 80 in Union Township. A PennDOT worker discovered her body last Sunday and Rollins is awaiting extradition back to Pennsylvania. Wilkes-Barre police are searching for a driver involved in a hit-and-run incident Wednesday afternoon. According to police, 38-year-old Angela Velasquez was struck in the intersection of South Main and Northampton Streets around 3 p.m. Police performed life-saving measures on her until paramedics arrived on scene. She was taken to an area hospital where she later had to have her leg amputated. The vehicle that struck her is believed to have been stolen and fled from a traffic stop just before the hit and run. The driver later abandoned the vehicle where it was found by police in the area of South and River Streets. The suspect is described as a nearly six foot three black male weighing around 220 pounds. He was last seen wearing a dark jacket, cream colored pants, and he has a gold tooth. Anyone with information is being asked to call the Wilkes-Barre Police Department at 570-208-4200. 
A Hazleton man is facing drug charges following a routine traffic stop in the city. Police pulled over a white Infiniti sedan in the area of West Broad and North Cedar Streets after midnight. The driver, identified as Gregory Roque, was found to be in possession of over 200 grams of marijuana, vaping cartridges, and a small amount of cocaine. He was charged with intent to deliver a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia, among other traffic violations. He was taken to Luzerne County Prison for arraignment. An investigation was initiated after a child was injured last month in the borough of McAdoo. State police were called to the 200 block of South Kennedy Drive back on January 27th for a report of an injured child. According to troopers, a two-year-old child was being supervised by a family friend and sustained a fracture to her right leg. The names of those involved have not been released at this time, and the child was treated for her injury. The investigation into that incident remains ongoing. A Schuylkill County man that was arrested last month for allegedly killing his grandmother will now face first and third degree murder charges. According to police, 32-year-old Calvin Clark got into an altercation with his grandmother, Sharon Zimmerman, at her home in Pine Grove back on January 23rd. Clark told authorities that he grabbed her face to stop her from yelling and caused her to fall down the steps. He was initially charged with aggravated assault, but that has since been upgraded to homicide. Members of Luzerne County Council voted to approve pay raises for county tax collectors. The elected, ta the elected tax collectors currently get $2.50 per paid bill. After a debate, council approved to raise the rate to $2.60 per paid bill. However, that won't happen until 2024, and the rate will stay the same for 2022 and 2023. Council approved an amendment proposal from Walter Griffith to push back the pay increases by one year and eliminate the proposed raise for the year 2025. Councilman Harry Haas has also suggested that the county move the collections in-house to the county treasurer's office to save some money, but that proposal was ultimately rejected. A Democratic state representative reintroduced legislation that would require a background check to purchase gun ammunition in the Commonwealth. House Bill 393 was introduced by State Representative Brian Sims and would only allow businesses with existing licenses to sell guns and ammunition. It would also prohibit anyone who isn't allowed to purchase a firearm from buying ammo. The bill has since been referred to the House Judiciary Committee for consideration. The Weatherly School District set to get some paving done following a unanimous vote from their school board. Last night, the board voted to enter into a contract deal with Umbriac Trucking LLC of Hazel Township. The plans are to pave all their parking lots and do some concrete work at most of the schools across the district. Umbriac was the lowest of six bids, totaling around $450,000. School director April Walters pointed out that the paving project will cost the district a lot less than anticipated. According to the bid specifications, the work will begin July 1st and finish up by August 31st. Coming up on WYLN News, good news for Sheets employees. Plus, we've got another blood drive coming to the area. But first, we'll take a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by the WYLN Weather Kids. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Ezra. I'm five years old. It's partly cloudy out here and a little cold. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Penn State Hazleton is improving the lives of others, starting in our community. Providing degrees that meet the needs of the area. Fueling entrepreneurship and contributing more than $36 million annually to the state's economy. Researching the health of our local ecosystem on the Susquehanna River. Together, our impact keeps growing. 
backed by the strength of 24 campuses and 700,000 alumni. There's no better place to shoot than Whitetail Preserve. Their skeet trap and sporty clay fields are professionally designed and all stations are handicapped accessible. Whitetail Preserve has resident shooting instructors certified by the NRA in shotgun, rifle, pistol, home safety, and personal protection in the home. Whitetail can also cater any size event, whether it be a private party, corporate event, or wedding. Call 570-455-4251 extension 1378 for more information. UGI customers should be on the lookout for a possible increase to their electric bill. UGI filed a request with the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission to increase base rates for customers by $8.7 million annually. According to a news release from UGI, residential customers using 1,000 kilowatt hour per month and receiving default power supply service would see a 12.4% increase. UGI is requesting the new rates take effect April 9th, but PUC's proceedings will delay it until early November. According to UGI, the increase would go towards ongoing improvements and information tech investments in order to support customer service while maintaining safe and reliable electric service. Banks Township is on the search for a new code enforcement officer. Township supervisors voted Monday to advertise the position in order to replace seven-year veteran Joe Dunner, who resigned at the start of the year. The code officer role includes investigating complaints of township code violations 10 hours per week, up to a max of 40 hours per month. The position pays $11 per hour. Good news for Sheets employees as the company announced an investment to increase employee wages. President and COO Travis Sheets said in a statement that, our employees are the heart and soul of this company. Sheets is committed to investing in our people and attracting and retaining top talent. We know in order to do this, we need to exceed expectations by providing competitive wages, industry-leading benefits, career development opportunities, and much more. The $28.5 million investment will take effect tomorrow, February 12th, and Sheets officials say a majority of its 18,000 employees will see a pay increase. Sheets currently operates 620 stores across Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, Ohio, West Virginia, and North Carolina. Organizations are teaming up next week for an annual event aimed at saving lives. The Greater Hazleton Chapter of the Penn State Alumni Association, Penn State Thon, and the American Red Cross will be hosting a blood drive this Tuesday, February 16th, from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Butler Township Community Center in Drums. For each blood donation made, the Red Cross will donate $4 to PSU Hazleton Thon to benefit the Four Diamonds Fund at Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital. Also, people who donate blood in February will receive a $5 Amazon.com gift card. The blood drive is open to the public and appointments are strongly encouraged to observe social distancing. Visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Coming up on 40 Forts News Choice, we speak with Luzerne County SPCA on animal cruelty and community in you. Plus, it's game day with a twist. So stay with us. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Cat Napper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. WYLN programming is online all the time. Visit our website at WYLNTV.com to check out archive shows and a live stream of our broadcasts. And don't forget to visit all of our social media pages for breaking news, weather, and sports. You can also head directly to our YouTube page for all our programming at YouTube.com slash WYLNTV35. Subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time there's a new show available online. 
Membership opportunities are now available at the Valley Country Club, 79 Country Club Lane in Sugarloaf. Clubhouse upgrades are in progress and will be ready for the spring. Call Frank Radis for details at 570-233-5328. We see it all too often. Animals being abused are neglected. It's problematic worldwide and right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Luckily, organizations like the Luzerne County SPCA come to the aid of animals in need. The shelter has three Humane Society police officers who are in charge of serving all of Luzerne County. Our officers are as good as the information that's coming in. So you, you, it's often said if you see if you see something, say something. And, and that's what, certainly what we would ask of our community. If you see something that doesn't agree with your value system or how you believe an animal should be treated, call us, say something. And in turn, our officers can go out and begin to do an investigation as to whether or not they are or are not uh, in violation of any state anti-cruelty laws. Um, sometimes they're not. Doesn't, doesn't always mean it agrees with our value system, but if it does not violate the law, then unfortunately we educate and have to step back and allow them to uh, live with their animals as they see fit as long as they toe that line with the state laws. Legislation such as Libre's law has made anti-cruelty laws more strict. Libre's law uh, certainly made state anti-cruelty laws far more strict and in line, uh, far more in line with what our national um, feeling is when it comes to animal cruelty. It did impose some stricter penalties, but our job on a day-to-day basis as far as our Humane Society police officers and and the kind folks that work inside this building really does not change on a day-to-day basis. It, it is more the laws that have changed slightly as far as again are, are a bit more strict or, or detailed where the previous law was uh, a bit more ambiguous and left a lot of room for subjectivity. So Libre's law is certainly helpful. We welcomed it and hope that our state continues to walk that road towards um, protecting the animals that we choose to share our lives with. Shelter staff deals with animals that are victims of abuse and neglect. Really is um, very specific to the situation, the animal, um, and where they came from and where we believe they are going to. Um, You know, we often talk about, we try to make things very black and white, but an animal welfare organization lives their lives and operates in gray because every situation that walks through the door has its own nuances and, and uniqueness because we are dealing with live animals. Um, we might get an animal through the door that loves me, but the next person that walks up for whatever reason is reflects upon some of their trauma that they may have had in their life and and doesn't so it does become this balance we have to strike between the safety of our staff the safety of our officers and ultimately the safety of the community in order to put do we believe this animal is safe enough to be placed back into the community or does it have the ability or propensity to lash out or be aggressive or things of that nature. Um, so we're very uh, aware and cognizant of, of what this animal's unique needs are. And it literally changes from as many different animals as we see, their needs are, are as different as they are. If anyone suspects neglect or abuse, they can reach out to the Luzerne County SPCA at 570-825-4111. Life is different, but it hasn't stopped. So when curiosity turns into a rash, an LVHN video visit is just a click away. No matter what you need, whether it's a phone call with a primary care provider or a specialist, or you just need advice on your health, we have a virtual care option that's right for you. And the best part? 
you'll always be seen by a Lehigh Valley Health Network provider. Visit lvhn.org slash virtual to learn more. CARES has immediate openings for life-sharing providers to mentor and provide care in her home for an adult with intellectual disabilities. Our life-sharing program focuses on independence, living in and enjoying a local community, and building a companionship that's beneficial to both parties. CARES will provide training, support, and a monthly compensation in the form of a stipend. If you'd like to learn more about life sharing, call CARES at 866-CARES-VIP. Third Base Luncheonette, still making memories after all these years. Looking for information on the coronavirus pandemic? Make sure it's from a reliable source. Go to WYLNTV.com and click on the Lehigh Valley Health Network banner for the real facts about the coronavirus pandemic. And watch WYLN News live at 5.30 for updates on this ongoing crisis. The source matters now more than ever. WYLN, we're your local network. As we reported to you earlier this week, a pup went missing from his home after running from a house fire in Foster Township. Well, we're glad to say that Stumps is finally back with his family. The five-year-old Puggle ran from his home during a fire Monday night on Washington Street just outside of Freeland. He was found by a construction worker just a few blocks away from his house. He braved two nights of the cold, inclement weather, but is now in the warm embrace of his family, who is grateful for all the community support, especially for the worker who brought their stumps back home. The PIAA announced that high school wrestling will be held at Mohegan Sun Arena this year in wilkes Bear Township. The arena will be home to District 2, 2A, and 3A championships. Though the arena previously held high school basketball championships, this will be a first for wrestling. COVID-19 precautions will be in place, so only a limited number of fans will be allowed inside. Tickets can be obtained through the school district rather than through the arena, so be sure to get yours soon. All the wrestling action begins next Friday, February 19th. And our WILN sports crew is gearing up to cover its next 2021 high school basketball game. Due to the freezing temperatures, we'll be bringing you all the tape-delayed Cougar Spartan action from tonight, when the ball is in Hazleton's court for the girls' matchup against Wyoming Valley West. Get your favorite fill of Marty Burns, Joe DeMelfi, and our WYLN sports crew bringing you the event, not just the highlights. So tune in tomorrow night at 7.30 for all the live local action right here on WYLN TV. If you miss it, we'll be rebroadcasting the game again Saturday and Sunday at noon. And that's the news. Remember, the source matters now more than ever. Catch all the latest on our Facebook page or at WYLNTV.com, where you can also find LVHN's real facts about COVID-19. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next, right here on WYLN-TV. What's on TV? Plenty. WYLN TV 35, the best in local programming. Do you like craft beer? Do you want to learn the right way to sample wine? How about checking out a restaurant with a unique flavor or a crazy food challenge? These are just some of the things we are featuring on Wine, Hops, and Road Stops. So, spend some time learning about great wine, great beer, and great food on WYLN TV 35. Tune in every Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN.
I'll see you in the ring. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. Attention WYLN viewers, WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazleton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier, channel 507 and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. Stay tuned to get this designer pan free from Gotham Steel. Tired of your pan that scratches and sticks? Well, it's time to upgrade. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my new copper style designer pan that's guaranteed to beautify your kitchen like never before. Eggs stick to other pans, but with mine, they slide right out. And look, it still has the super durable ultra nonstick surface. It's oven safe up to 500 degrees, so bake chicken pot pie and serve it straight from the pan. And then it wipes clean with ease. Wow. Oh, this is a beautiful pan. It looks great. Look at that. I love how they swirl. I tell you, I'm sold. I, I can't believe how beautiful this pan is. Similar hammered pans sell for almost $100, but today it's an incredibly low $29.99. And we'll even ship it to you free. But wait, call right now and you can get a matching single-serve egg pan absolutely free. You'll get it all. Call now. Call 1-800-474-9451. That's 1-800-474-9451 or go to GothamHammered.com. Other masks have only three layers of protection. Introducing Air Police 4, the face mask with four. That's right, four layers of protection. Shipped directly to you from our USA warehouse. Air Police uses four layers of high-performance fabric with a cutting-edge, melt-blown, electrostatic inner core. And our one-size-fits-all flexible ear straps are comfortable for all-day wear. With a customizable nose piece for a secure fit and the breathability to wear your glasses fog-free. Get Air Police 4 with four layers of protection for just $1.99 each. Order right now and receive special pricing for as low as 99 cents and get free shipping. Plus, you can get an extra large bottle of our best-selling Hanvana HydraClean hand sanitizer. Just pay a separate fee. This offer is not available on Amazon. Order now. Call 1-800-956-7841 or visit airpolice4.com. So call 1-800-956-7841 or visit airpolice4.com now. Get the ShamWow mask made in Germany and the USA. It's made with the same high-tech material used to make surgical masks. But the thing is, you can't wash these. ShamWows are machine washable, reusable, and disposable masks? Come on, you're wasting them like you're a billionaire at a nightclub. Check this out. ShamWows are infused with real zinc to help fight and stop bacteria and other microbes. It's light, breathable, and has a cotton inner layer for comfort. Almost all cloth masks are made with woven fibers, which allow airborne germs and viruses to get through easily. But ShamWow is non-woven and prevents microbes from entering, keeping you safe and sound. So you get it all. Comfort, zinc, reusability, and the best protection. Those other masks you see on TV are made in China. I love Chinese people too, but come on. Quality wise, go with the USA. And you save the environment. Forget the environment. Save yourselves. Get your ShamWow mask with zinc for only $29.99 plus free shipping. But if you call now, you'll get a second ShamWow mask free. Just pay for processing. Call 1-800-930-2144. That's 1-800-930-2144. 1-800-930-2144. Call now.